to your voice your vote now and echoes of George Santos in Colorado Springs. We are investigating one of the front runners for the Colorado Springs City Council who is under scrutiny tonight over reports of plagiarism and lying about her education history. Cardio News Channel 13 Spencer Soyser joins us live after sitting down one on one with District 3 candidate Michelle Tellerico. Spencer. Barton Heather, this all started after a local political group accused Tallarico of claiming to be a Colorado College grad. We spoke about it at length tonight. She says she's sorry if she misled the public. I am truly sorry about that. District 3 City Council candidate Michelle Tallarico has some explaining to do. I don't know that I owe an apology. I feel that I owe an explanation, which I feel like I've done. It comes after a nonprofit political action group got a report verifying Tallarico went to Colorado College from 1982 to 1984, but never received a bachelor's degree. That goes against the information put on her LinkedIn page, what's written on the board of directors page for the local National Alliance on Mental Illness, and what was recently included in an endorsement from the local newspaper. On your NAMI bio page for the board of directors. It says Colorado College graduate. Do you know? If I didn't know that. Thank, thank you for telling me. Uh, you said you didn't know that that was on the NAMI website that you were a, a Colorado College grad, but surely you've seen that when the Gazette endorsed you that it said Colorado College graduate. Did you at any time reach out to them to say that's inaccurate? I didn't, and I did see it, and my partner and I had a brief conversation about it on the, the night that we saw it, and she said, we've got to call them, and I said, you're absolutely right. Tallarico is also accused of plagiarizing one of her answers on a recent candidate survey. I did not plagiarize my answer, but I did copy and paste, and this is what I explained to them. My intention before sending it was to go back read the things that I, you know, gathered from that article, type my own answer to it. Clearly what I must have done is get to the bottom and send it. Is that not plagiarism though? Like if I were in college right now and I write an essay and I just copy, I don't know about something and I go and research about it and I just copy it and type it in as my answer, don't you think I'd get kicked out of school? I don't know if you would get kicked out of school, but you probably would be accused of, of plagiarism. And I can completely understand that. That's two problematic pieces of information that Tallarico has acknowledged to us. However, we asked her tonight if she thinks that people may be losing trust in her because of these events. She said no, that people know to trust her based off of who she is as a person. You can see more of our extended conversation right now on KRDO.com. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, I'm Spencer Soyser for KRDO News Channel 13. And the election now less than one week away. Spencer, thank you.